First at 10, police say a Beaver Creek man was arrested for making a threatening phone call to Kettering Fairmont High School. It happened around 9 this morning. Police say the caller threatened the safety of anyone identifying as LGBTQ+. No one was specifically threatened. Brandon Moore was arrested and charged with telecommunications and disturbing the peace violations. The threat comes one day after comments were made about the school's prom court at a district meeting. Two transgender students were crowned king and queen. We brought you that story last night on 2 News. 2 News reporter Seth Burr joins us live in the studio and has student reaction following that threat. Seth. The LGBTQ plus community has been in the spotlight in recent weeks after outrage in Butler Township over a transgender student voted onto prom king court and the Bellbrook Sugar School Board changing an anti-harassment policy some perceive as harmful to the LGBTQ plus community. Now a threat at Kettering Fairmont High School has students concerned. It kind of puts you in a spot where you're like, um, am I able to live my life? freely. Um, like, am I able to go to school? Am I able to go participate in the activities I do? Am I able to go do a job interview? Or am I able to just go out with my family? Uh, it's kind of like, it puts you in this paranoid kind of mindset. And at the end of the day, there's nothing we can do to control others, and we can only control ourselves. So, Kettering Fairmont High School senior Deshaun Conley was shaken at first, but had prepared mentally for acts of hate. She shared a message to the person who threatened her community. Making threats is so unnecessary, and it's just spreading more hate. Um, it just kind of shows the kind of person they are rather than um, put fear into other people because uh, the community that I'm a part of, like, we go through this on a daily. Like, Fellow student Rosie Green was most concerned with what could come next after a Beaver Creek man allegedly called the high school with a blanket threat to LGBTQ plus students. I'm concerned that, that this the mindset of these people will continue down into like the younger generations that go to school with me and I haven't gotten a lot of hate yet but I'm, I, I'm scared that I'm about to start getting hate. Even though the incident today was upsetting, Conley has a strong message for her community. At the end of the day this is something that we cannot erase but at the same time they cannot erase us, they cannot erase our community as much as they'd like to. Uh, so I hope that they, they still know that they're not alone and that there's people here that are willing to fight things like this. Kettering City Schools will have extra officers for the foreseeable future to make sure students and staff are safe. In studio, Seth Bird, 2 News.